Right, hi guys, this is Aaron and welcome back to another video on Bluebeam Review. Right, so in uh, in a earlier video, right, I have covered the Bluebeam Studio where we talked about the collaboration on cloud uh, and the usage of the iPad right on site. Right, so let's uh, go into it a little deeper. Right, so today we will we'll talk about uh, for usage on site when you're walking through like uh, progress claims, uh, sidewalks or defect checks. All right. So now what we have here, uh, we have actually covered in a, another video uh, where we touch on the creation of spaces. All right. So let's say I cre I recreate this space again. So I create this room. All right. So let's say I say room one two five zero. Right. So once I have this, okay, what I can do here is that okay, I have created this uh, ceiling issues uh, two set before. Right. Each of them can contain different kinds of con uh, comments, right? So let's break it down. Individually, uh, they can be created very quickly on your end as well, right? They are, they are formed by two markups being grouped together, right? So if you see, if I were to ungroup, they are actually just uh, part of, uh, they are actually cr uh, created by an ellipse and also by a text box, okay? So you can actually just uh, ungroup or you can actually just group uh, two of them together, key in the comments and just save it to your two, uh, two set for that. Right, so now uh, something else I want to cover is that whenever you key in all these things, yes, it tells you the room because of the spaces, but there is also another feature that allows you to attach photos. Alright, so if I were to attach, uh, let's say for example I use my photo function, right, this capture function can actually attach photos and if you're on your iPad, right, on the Bluebeam app, app on iPad, you can also record videos into this little icon here. Right, so from this little icon, you can uh, you can show and display the 360 degree photos that you take or even all the other photos that you see over here. Okay, so what this can bring to the table is when you go down to site uh, and you're walking through the site, we all take many photos as we go along uh, on our sidewalks, right? But what most of us uh, do is that when you have the photos, you will usually either just paste them on the PDF or you will transfer them uh, to your PowerPoint slides and whatnot, right? The issue with those two approaches is that uh, pictures placed on the PDF will take up too much space, especially when you need a lot of information, right? So this PDF can probably fit probably another 14 photos before it gets completely cluttered, right? So with this feature, not only you get to pinpoint the location, right? Because the markup is tagged to that particular markup to that location, all right? And second of which, it does not take up space as well. Okay, so it can save you a lot of time uh, rearranging the photos when you come back from site, right? You, uh, gone are the days where you take 500 photos and you come back to site and you start to figure out, hey, uh, which photos uh, belong to which room and all these things. Okay, so this feature will be very helpful for that purpose, right? So some some uh, some people may ask, is that hey, what uh, what happens if the person I'm sending this to does not have blue beam? Okay, if the person you're sending to has blue beam, they will be able to see this icon and will be, be will be able to open from there. But if they do not have, you can actually do uh, export what you call a capture summary, right? So I will I will take this box first, attach media as link files. Right, so the result that comes out is actually that you can actually export this out uh, as a report to them. So what they will see is that the comments, the location of the item, and all the pictures, they are attached to that. So this is a way that they can receive because this exported file is still a PDF. So you notice that I actually, I actually clicked on the box that says attached media as link files. So what this means is that, uh, let's say for example, I'm the one opening this file. If I double click on it, it will just open up just like any other image on your computer, whichever your default uh, image opener is. Right. So what this means for you when you export is that uh, do you want to submit the full size of the photos that you take? Right. If your goal is just as a report, you don't need the person to have the actual full size photos, then you can actually just toggle off that, uh, that option. And at the same time, it will also save you a lot of space on that PDF because if you choose to attach the media as a link file and all your photos are HD, huge sizes, 
then at the same time your PDF that is exported will be large as well right so I hope this feature will help you out right thank you